Hello and welcome to Sentence. This is one of the first uh, big Sentence games, I believe. Um, I'm sure there was a few, but uh, after the release of uh, Forge Alliance Forever, it should be a good one. I have not seen most of it, but I know it's a pretty long one. So, uh, I believe the name of the game was Random Team, so I'm assuming the players didn't get to choose where they would end up. We got Steyr, Icon, definitely had good, two good, very good players, Cybern and UEF. Cyber in the middle is a little uh, dangerous. Looks like uh, NG and uh, ACU with only one mask extractor. Taking on two steps from hell, who's playing Aeon. And also ACU and Engineer. ACU and Engineer from both players. Carlitos on the beach playing Seraphim versus uh, Star. It's going to be a good matchup, although we'll see how UEF does in that situation. But uh, Grim Joe here is UEF. Should be very nice against Ridiculous playing Aeon. I would definitely give an advantage to Grim Joe here versus Ridiculous and in air Mr. White versus Com Schmidt. So we'll see how that ends up. Uh, Mr. White usually never plays back, but uh, definitely a very good sentence player. Now besides the engineer, it looks like two steps from hell has brought a couple flares. Flares and the scout. Looks like just the scout from Icon. So let's see. Actually, now some Manta here coming up as well. And this is where those Manti uh, or tanks come up uh, yeah those Manti are going to massacre the flares if, you go, if you're going with the flares you got to go fast and you got to try to get ahead but it looks like this engineer might not be protected excellent kill for uh, two steps from hell that was very important but of course now the Manti, actually one of the Manti dies so now it's left with an engineer and this Mantis might sneak sneak by so both players take care of each other's engineers. A nice battle. Looking at the sides, looks like a whole bunch of floating arty from Carlitos. And now here below, after four minutes, Tyre is going to take his island. Might have a little bit of problems. And it looks like Grim is going to take his island. And opposed, he also had some bombers ready, just in case anything went funny. Now this Mantis that got three kills actually, is getting hit by some Auroras. He dies. Looking at uh, two steps from hell, six land factories already. Has uh, a couple mass extractors uh, upgrading. Looking at the eco, oh yeah, looks like uh, all the mass, uh, six thousand of it, was given away. Not too many tech to mass extractors, and they're kind of killing the eco right now. And uh, so many engineers building this factory, that's really killing. That makes it really difficult. Uh, looking at Icon, got 6400. So both players very even on how much mass they got, but it looks like Icon getting an upgrade. A much more balanced eco, it seems, already with the four Tech 2 mass extractors. So a lot more mass for Icon versus two steps. We also see Com Schmidt, looks like first place. Well, Mr. White and Com Schmidt, very close. Early Tech 1 Navy for Carlitos against Steyr. Star also thinking about starting a navy, but already some frigates coming out. And an interceptor here, uh, taking out a bomber, two kills. And another uh, Tech 1 land, or Tech 1 naval factory, plus a torpedo launcher for Star just in case things go bad. There's a submarine moving in that direction, a, a drop coming in from Ridiculous. Meanwhile, Icon with a Tech 2 ACU. A couple tech two point defenses, 15 kills, 6 kills, 2 steps from hell with double gun, and some auroras rolling through. I can have to retreat. Those are some really nice chunks of mass that 2 steps from hell just got. This would be a nice overcharge when those are together, but 2 steps from hell, well, low on health with auroras coming in. Really, in these types of battle, uh, big advantage to Aeon until you get the tech to point defense. And of course, this is a point defense you can't dodge. You can only hide behind uh, something. So, tech one point defense and tech two. Not too much artillery at all for uh, two steps from hell. So, he's going to be quite a bit of trouble. Already six kills. These Auroras should not be moving up. So, a little bit of out of ideas there in the middle, uh, two steps. Here comes a Tech 1 naval assault from Carlitos. He's preventing Star from building there, but Star, of course, now has a nice bomb. Star uh, going with a Tech 2 torpedo boat. He's got a Tech 2 naval factory. 
also a couple of frigates moving in, but there are submarines here. From ridiculous. 11 kills on some of those subs. And numbers now for uh, Carlitos. They're going to take care of these ships quite easily, and that is going to give away the position of this uh, Navy. And uh, torpedo boats are really not that good against frigates. It'll be really nice against the subs. Star might be in a little bit of trouble. Meanwhile, I've seen some Tech 2 gunships from uh, Ridiculous. Absolutely. Well, he's just started his Tech 1 Navy. Meanwhile, we do see some submarines from Grimjo. Looks like two steps from hell had to retreat, and now he's going to deal with some Manti. Of course, in this situation, the Auroras have a huge advantage to yeah, with the gun to ACU. We might see some cruise missiles from Icon. This would be nice if you take over the middle, especially the Sivan cruise missile against Aeon. Well, Actually, Ann would be pretty good against Siren, but um, you can sometimes shoot over the Ann ones. And a successful uh, kill here for Carlitos, really putting a lot of pressure on Star. Trying to start trying to rebuild, going for yet another Tech 2 nail factory, getting torpedo launchers. And this is really your only hope is either Tech 2 air, torpedo launchers, and a lot of Tech 1 Navy. That's all, the only thing you can do against what Carlitos is doing. And it's a long stream of Tech 1 that's just moving in, not Tech 2. A destroyer nearly finished for Carlitos. Looking at uh, Carlitos' eco, he's, uh, he's got all of his mass structures at Tech 2 here, minute 12. Got some power problems. Relative to Styre, was actually hit at Tech 2 nail factory. This is really nice. But you can see the eco for Styre so much better. 2400 uh, power. He's got all this Tech 2 power. So instead of. Um, building up the Navy. He's been teching and he's got a huge eco now. But he might be in a bit of trouble. This might be a stick it out though, this tech two destroyer. So so far it doesn't look too good for Carlitos, although he's got multiple cruisers moving out. These ships need to go and uh, take care of that navy. But this cruiser could be pretty good early on putting pressure on Icon. In the other Navy we see both players really not uh, doing anything. Some Tech 1 Navy going up. Purely Tech 1 from Grimm. Looking at Grimm's Eco. It's got about 140. Steyr now 100, 140 as well. So both rocks very similar. And of course now Bombers versus uh, Auroras. That's, uh, that's just uh, ridiculous. That was two bombs right there. That was like 15 tanks. That's one of the reasons people uh, used to think uh, AN was uh, overpowered, but now with these cheap Tech 1 bombers, it's just it's just brutal. Oh, more bombers. So I can be really abusive here. But it takes some Tech 2 point defenses from uh, two steps from hell. And these cruisers, uh, very nice cruisers. And looks like this uh, shipyard for Steyr has been found out. This is going to be extremely close. Will this be finished? Nope. So close to getting a Tech 2 destroyer. That was 2,000 mass wasted. You can see another attempt at a Navy from uh, Steyr. He has the eco to do it. He just has a hard time staying in the ocean. He's losing mass extractors pretty badly. And this could be a nice victory for uh, the... And yeah, this is too many torpedo launchers here. And another Tech 2 naval factory. Surprised these cruisers aren't attacking the the ship, the shipyard. Tech 1 Navy coming in once again. And we are seeing destroyers now coming out. The cruisers. There's two destroyers for uh, Carlitos. Need to get to these ships as soon as possible. As here comes a destroyer. Very surprising Carlitos isn't hitting the shipyards. Almost another destroyer for Star. And these destroyers for uh, Carlitos need to be here at the at the naval factories. They're a bit out of position. Now we're going to see you have destroyed really have... Huh. And Carlitos deciding this wasn't worth it. Or something else has happened. Of course, it's out of share thanks to Funkov. But one thing about uh, EF destroyers, though, they're not very good against submarines. So we're actually seeing quite a bit of success from these subs. And now Mr. White is going to get the Navy, and he's, 
He's going to do a good job. Mr. Meanwhile, we haven't been really paying attention to air here. Minute 17. Mr. White has uh, some Strad Bombers and ASF. And uh, Com Schmidt has a whole bunch of ASF. And compare the two Ecos. For Com Schmidt, he's got plus 250, uh, about 10,000 power. Mr. White, about 13,000 power, 312, so significantly more. And that's uh, a lot of it is because he does have this extra base, a double base for Mr. White. He should be taking over. It uh, looks like he won't be able to take Steyr out of the ocean. And uh, we got to say, Grimm uh, didn't get attacked at all by uh, Ridiculous, while Steyr, although he was taking the whole time, did take some damage from those cruisers. But uh, 3v4 game. And we'll see how Star decides to play this. Seems just to destroy our map. And cruisers. Looking at Ridiculous, he's got uh, just a single shield here at minute 20. He could really use a whole bunch more for his AN Navy. That's really the strength of the AN Navy is the... Looks like he's got the spam, he's making blazes and uh, shields. Might as well just go purely. He's got double RAS. He can afford so many shields. He can afford fi five, oh, 50 shields, yeah, with the, the double RAS. And 50 shields for Aeon would be uh, a very nice uh, situation. We do see all these Strat Bombers. We see uh, seven, uh, six, six Strat Bombers from Mr. White. These are the F1s. He do a lot of damage. Here come the ASF for Mr. White. Looking at the ASF numbers, 59 for Mr. White. Come Schmidt. Oh, 92. Huge advantage for Come Schmidt. And here comes a naval battle between Aeon and Yef. And Grimm should take this quite easily. I would imagine it's really hard to see who's who here in white versus gray. But Aeon Navy now, with, without these shields, they're really uh, at a disadvantage, especially in close quarters against UEF. And UEF has those shields. And this is just going to be one way traffic. So Grim is going to win this Navy easily, and now with the cruisers, is going to have a huge advantage. Kommer Schmidt need to make his uh, air advantage count. So far, he's just building up. Here come the Strat Bombers from uh, Mr. White. You can see he's sending them in after the scouts. But he, yeah, let's see what these Strat Bombers can do. If any of them would actually get to drop the bombs. That was a failed uh, attempt. Neatly placed uh, chunks of mass here for Ridiculous to reclaim. Very good defense from. Com Schmidt. Com Schmidt also coming up with a bunch of detective gunships. Try to help out against Grimm. And now if we see this ASF fight, we did see the numbers where Mr. White had a lot less. And this is the place where Com Schmidt probably doesn't want to fight uh, again Mr. White over uh, Grim Joe's Navy. Although Grim, do Grim Joe does not have too many. He does not have too many cruisers. And this, uh, this air spam is just really ridiculous from Com Schmidt. Static Curiosity. This is about 330 engineers on that factory. That's a lot of build capacity. Take into account that a Tech 3 air factory, single uh, air factory, has the build capacity of 12 Tech 1 engineers. This is uh, 30 times more than a single. This is basically 30 Tech 3 air factories side by side. That's why engineers are so loved by uh, people. Mr. White getting some upgrades. One good thing about UEF is that you can get the shield and the RAS on your ACU. These gunships are a little crazy. They're going to break through those shields all by themselves. Definitely not the best time to, uh, to attack. Here come the SF from Com Schmidt. And some of Mr. White's SF flew away for it. And this is not a fight Mr. White wants to have. Meanwhile, we see oh this is something we've missed. 
huge navy now for Mr. White. He is uh, making Tech 3 submarines very quickly as well as uh, destroyers and a whole bunch of Tech 1. And with Tech 3 subs he might have some success against uh, Steyer who is actually making battleships and uh, experimental subs himself and uh, shields. Meanwhile we're seeing a uh, megalith from Icon. So experimental in the middle of this experimental has to respect this navy. Well, the navy is going to retreat as well. There's a battle cruiser here for uh, Grim. And Grim with the Tech 3 nail factory now making cruisers. And a missile ship. This is a beautiful, beautiful weapon. Probably the best ship in the game. If you consider everything. It's devastating against land and very good against these uh, shield battles really knocks down your opponent's shields very well at a very long distance has the longest distance of any uh, bombardment ship got some Tech 3 subs in the other ocean this is going to be very difficult for Mr. White to really balance his air production and the navy if he, if he loses either one his team is in a lot of trouble and uh, looks like a GC here from two steps from hell so both uh, mid players have an experimental Looking at Com Schmidt, 203 ASF. He's looking for a fight, flying over some cruisers. And he's going to get this fight. And it's going to be pretty one sided. Looks like the numbers were quite bad. Twenty left. Com Schmidt left with one hundred seventy-one, and this is going to be bad. So at this point, uh, for this whole top side team, they need to make a lot of tech to flak. That's their only option. I see a pretty big battle. Grim versus uh, ridiculous, ridiculous with a missile ship using these shields perfectly missile ship mi multiple missile ships as well as a uh, battleship as well and uh, Mr. White has no way to produce uh, air, he does have a nuke however but uh, he's got to make all types of flak, tech to flak is the best preventing people from flying over your head here's an anti nuke, very important unit for two steps from hell in the middle battle. Very much a deadlock, although it looks like Ridiculous Navy just keeps on getting bigger and not really taking any losses. Sitting behind the Aeon wall. be really curious to see what will happen with this Navy, because there's a lot of Tech 3 subs that could catch uh, Steyr off guard, although he does have multiple experimental subs. Here we got the fight between the Mega and the GC. Mega doing the dance backwards. This is a nice micro plus a bunch of strat bombers. So, uh, Com Schmidt completely taking over. And the Mega making a mistake here. Turning in the back. Not really clear why. Uh, with the help of the uh, air from uh, Com Schmidt, we got multiple megas rolling through the middle. Two steps from hell trying to get another GC. They're ridiculous here with the Tech 3 Navy, the battleship. Really pushing back on Steyr. Steyr has mo multiple uh, battle cruisers. This is curious why Grimjo was given all these units from Mr. White. 
I think Mr. White is able to, he's, he's making yet another nuke. And he's able to restart his air production. And looks like it's uh, restores now for Com Schmidt. These megaliths, not really clear how these will be stopped. Star, meanwhile, thinking about pushing ahead, although this is a this is going to be a huge navy for him to deal with. Also some Tech 3 uh, shields. And eventually, Seraphim do have the best shields on water with these Tech 3 mobile shields, although they usually come in a little later. But at that point, Seraphim is actually the best navy. GC is nearly complete for uh, two steps. Looks like ridiculous force to retreat. With these multiple miss uh, missile ships, they can they can do damage from far away. Looks like the GC is completed. Mega taking damage from some battle cruisers. And now we're seeing uh, Star, and perhaps maybe a little bit surprised. Not not nearly too many shields. And this is really a great situation where Seraphim is so good. Take three submarines and take three shields. 10,000 uh, health on each one of those shields and long range on those uh, torpedoes. Plus we're seeing a bunch of destroyers underneath. Can take out the shields. It'll be total devastation for Star. And as you see in the middle, meanwhile, from two steps, took out one megalith and that's almost taken out the other. So besides the total collapse in air, the top side's still doing all right. Big problem in the middle with uh, this megalith. But we got these nukes uh, from Mr. White, which could make this very interesting. You should see some anti-nukes. There is an anti-nuke here. It's not complete for uh, Com Schmidt. Let's see if that gets finished in time. And the air force from Com Schmidt's coming in. I'll clean up on this navy and a whole bunch of strat bombers. Looks like these strat bombers are going against these submarines. It's Tech 3 subs versus strat bombers in those shields. And also ridiculous using Tech 3. Yeah, so that any, any chance this battle had was completely uh, completely ruined by these Tech 3 uh, air. Now some strat bombers against two steps from hell. Two steps from hell getting taken out by the strat bombers. And look like Mr. White also throwing in the towel. And now Grim. Yeah, having drones with a couple hundred ASF over you is not good. Now it's Grim's turn trying to dodge a couple of these bombs. There goes Mr. White. So I got tricked. I thought this uh, replay was about twice as long. But uh, I guess I'll upload this one anyway. Still a pretty decent battle, but um, it was quite one sided because of total air domination. The navies were very even. Had a nice battle here between Steyr and uh, Kalidas early on. But uh, hopefully, people enjoy this one.